Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,230. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,230, 1,231 start, or the finished version, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we want to simply be able to select from this drop down one of the names here and have the color show up over here. So the whole table has to turn green when I select rad booms. When I select gel booms, it's got to turn blue. And when I select Darnell, it's got to turn red. So we'll use conditional formatting. Now I'm going to use the keyboard Control tab. Alt tab usually jumps between open windows. You can see here I have many windows open. But Control tab is awesome. It jumps back and forth between Excel workbooks. All right, so here's the deal. Conditional formatting. We need to have every single cell in this range. That means that cell, this one, this one, this one, every single cell get a true from a logical formula when I select Darnell booms. If I select rad booms, I need every single one of these cells to have a logical formula that says true. That way, it can trigger the conditional formatting. Now, here's the way we're going to do it. We're actually going to highlight the entire table and then go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, and I'm going to go down to New Rule. The keyboard to do this is Alt-H-L-N. And here's a great trick. We're going to need to get down here to use formula to determine which cells to format. Now, normally, I use the arrow key, down arrow. But Dale Holden at YouTube gave us a great tip. Just use the page down. So just to show you how cool that is, if you were here, arrow, 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 that's a lot of click. That's like five clicks. So when you do Alt H L N, when you get to the top here and you want the last one, simply hit Page Down. Now I can hit Tab to get where I need to create my formula. Now I'm actually going to move this out of the way. Now remember, every single cell in this range in memory needs a true, false, logical formula. And I need to ask the question. Is this cell right here, and notice the default when you put cells into this text box here is absolute. And that's what we want. That formula right there is actually going to be in every one of these cells. Then I have to ask the question, is that cell up there equal to? Now, I could come over here, and that would work fine. If you wanted to hard code it in, then you'd have to put in double quotes rad booms. right? So that formula will work all the way through in memory it will be copied down so as soon as we select rad booms from the drop down every single cell in this range will get a true now i'm actually going to i'm not going to hard code this in i'm going to click right there and that will work now i can click format fill more colors or whatever i'm going to select this green you can pick whatever you want then i'm going to go over to font and I'm going to select automatic because I actually want black lettering and green to show up. So I've selected that. Click OK. Click OK. Now, if I come over here and select gel booms, nothing. When I select Darnell booms, nothing. But when I select rad booms, Every single cell says true, which gives us that formatting. Now, let's do this again, because we're going to have to add the blue here. Alt H L N, page down, tab. And here I'm going to say, hey, is that cell equal to gel booms? Now, remember, you can either double quote, type gel booms, and double quote, or have a cell reference. Now, I'm going to come over here, fill. Let's do this one, font. I'm going to do white, click OK, click OK. Now if I test this, boom, that works. Now here's the cool thing about one, two, three conditions when you're doing conditional formatting. I do not have to add the actual third one into the dialog box, because check this out, Darnell Booms. If I select this, if I just leave this default formatting, and I'm going to use the mini toolbar, if I select red fill and white font. Now, even though there's not a true false logical formula, anytime I select Darnell booms, the other two will not give a true, and so the default formatting will work. So rad booms, gel booms, 
and Darnell booms. One, two, three items for the drop down, formatting the table. All right, we'll see you next trick.